All right, welcome back everyone. This is part three of our uh, little thing, game thing. Um, the first thing we're going to do is add um, a little oomph to our zombie. So to do that, we're going to add an animation player, create a new one, and this will be called spot. So this is very simple. This will be very fast. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to go into animated sprite. So this is a bit weird. So we're going to animate our sprite in the animated sprite in our player. So to do that, you have to click the animated sprite and click animation on the bottom. And then uh, we're going to go into transform. We're going to key the scale and step off. And we're also going to do the position. And what we're going to do is we're going to drag all these to the end to one. And now we're going to go back into our animated sprites, go back to animation, and we're going to set this to zero, zero. No, not zero, zero. Let me check my reference real quick. It will be 0 0.08. And then, no, that's the scale. So that'll be the scale. And then the position will be negative 0 0.8. 755. So that's what I have. So that way it's on the bottom and we're going to key both of them. Okay. Or are you going to not do that to me? I'm going to set it back to 0 0.08. I'm going to key that one as well. And so now check it out. It's kind of like a little spawn. So we're going to add a friendly zombie mob uh, script. And then in here, what we're going to do is in the get ready. Thing. We're going to get node animated player and then play the spawn. Um, no, not spawn as a function. What am I doing? I'm going to play it. We're going to play the spawn. And then, yeah, that's, that's kind of it for this. There's nothing else I want to do too much. So, but now when I play it and I add something, it kind of spawns before doing anything else. All right, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to duplicate the friendly zombie and we're going to call it hostile zombie. We're going to drag that into hostile mob. And we'll open it up. We're going to duplicate this guy as well. Hostile zombie.gd. Going to drag that in. We're going to open the hostile zombie and this is pretty important. We're going to drag the hostile zombie script into the script on the bottom. Otherwise, we get mixed up. All right, we're going to rename this to hostile zombie. And what we're going to do is, first of all, we're going to reset these so that way we can see our player properly. Um, we're going to go into the animated sprite, and we're going to go into visibility. We're going to go to self-modulate, and then we're going to make it red a little bit, not too red. But just a little bit, just so I see that it's a different character essentially. And that, that's good for me. So these are my settings. You can copy them if you want. And now what we're going to do is there's a few things we're going to add. Let me just check my reference. Um, we're going to go into the script. We're going to add a speed. And it's going to be 30. We're also going to add a variable called chase. We're going to equal, get equal to false. And now I'm going to add function um, process. Uh, yeah, we'll do physics. And then if chase, actually, we'll do that after. But um, basically, what we're going to do is we're going to get find the player and then chase the player. And then to do that, we also need a direction. And then we're going to move and slide to that player. So we're going to do the direction times speed. So in order to get the player, this is pretty easy. What we can do is if we add our hostile zombie here, and we go into our script from here, we can do get nude, and we can click our player and drag it in to here. Oh, there we go. And what can I delete that? And then we're going to back into here. We'll do um, friendly mobs for that. And then this will be hostile mobs. 
We're going to delete that to there. And we have hostile mobs and friendly mobs. We also need the direction. So to get the direction, um, I'm not sure if we've done this yet, but I'm going to get the player position. What are we doing? Position. I don't know, I'm waiting for it to auto correct me or auto complete, but it's not. And then we're going to subtract it by our own position and we're going to normalize it. Normalized. And now it should move and it should move and slide to that our player's direction or not. Position. Did I spell it wrong? Invalid get index. Let's see. What did I do? Let me try one more time to drag in our player. Ah, there we go. That's fine. <laughs> okay. Sorry about that. So now it follows our player. However, um, what we want to do, so this is a little fun, I suppose. When we go into our hostile zombie, we're going to go to the animation player. We're going to wait until the animation finishes, the spawn animation, right? until it finishes. If it is finished, then we make chase equal true. And what we're gonna do is we're going to say, if chase equals true, then we chase the player, right? Because um, it's kind of weird if it's spawning and it's chasing the player, it makes no sense. Uh, we're gonna do equal equal true. All right, now we play it. Now it spawns and then it chases us. Awesome. However, nothing happens when it collides, right? So first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go into 2D. I'm going to change the collision layer to 2 and 2. Uh, I'll actually keep 1, one 2 and 1, 2. And then in our world, our player is going to stay 2, 2. So I think I changed this off camera, but um, make sure you change it to 2, 2 because now Going to happen is it should collide the, the monster the hostile one should collide with the friendly zombies but i should not but i also do collide with the non-friendly zombie all right um let's see that is actually interesting that i'm on top of it let me try i'll fix that later okay um, in our hostile zombie, another thing we're going to add is an area 2D. So this is going to be the collision with the player. I'm going to add a collision shape. And we're going to add a circle. I'm going to kind of zoom it in a little bit. And this will, I'll rename this to player collision. And then I'm going to check when the body is entered. If body dot name equals player, then I'm going to Q free. All right, there we go. Save it. Go back to our world. And if I play it, the zombie will chase me. And then the moment it hits me, it won't do anything apparently. <laughs> What's going on here? Let's check. Let's see. Here's the area. Is our player named there? Let me double check. Yeah, that's right. Um, ooh, I think it's because of that. Let's go back to layer one and layer two. Let's try again. All right, there we go. So I'll I'll have to fix this and do it off screen. But um, for now, keep it as one two one two, and for the hostile, we'll also do one two and one two. Okay. Um, now we're going to add a timer to our world, and we're going to spawn random zombies around our map. So to do that, we're going to go to our timer. We're going to do auto start, node timeout, and connect it to the world. And in here. We're going to create a new node uh, variable called RNG um, random 
number generator dot new. And it is a function, so we have to do new. And in our timeout, what we're going to do is rng dot randomize. So this randomizes our number every time the timer runs out. So that way it's not always the same numbers. If you don't do this, the numbers will end up being the same every time. And what we're going to do actually is I'm going to copy paste this so I don't have to type it all out. And then for here, I'm going to copy this as well. This is going to be hostile zombie. And then we're going to change the scene to hostile zombie. Copy this and change this and change all these so it doesn't confuse me. And I'm going to change this to hostile as well. Hostile mobs. And that is not what we're going to do though for the position. For the position, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do dot y equals rng dot randy random integer in a range of 10 to 120. So I'm just going to check what I have. This is the range I have. So the y is going to be that, and then the x is going to be 10 and 200. So what this means, it's going to pick a random number from 0 to 120, which is right around here, and then another random number from 0 to 200. So it's going to basically create this imaginary box here and spawn it there. So now if I play it, it should start randomly spawning these zombies. And they all chase me, and I die. All right, one more thing I'm going to change before I forget. Um, in our player, so right now we're clicking. It's kind of annoying, so I have to keep clicking. You can't tell, but I have to keep clicking to move, right? I kind of want to drag and move. So to do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to our player, and I'm going to change. No, I'm going to keep that. Um, and what we're going to do is I'm going to add a new variable called follow cursor equals false, because usually it's going to be false. And if I click down on our button, I'm going to make that cursor equals to true. Right? And so what I'm going to do essentially, right, is if follow cursor equals true, then I'm going to make the target equal to this, right? So that's when we're going to change it. Um, but as you can tell, this might not work completely. So what we're going to have to do is copy paste this and we're going to make this into released. So you press down, we're going to make follow cursor equal to true. And then once I let go, we're going to make it equal to, you guessed it, false. Mm -hmm. So now when I click, you can, I can move around, and when I let go, it goes to the mouse position and stops. There we go. Awesome. Um, now we have a relatively cool work, cool game. I can move around the map a little faster than the zombies, and they all chase me, regardless of how far I am. And then when I collide with them, they get destroyed. Obviously, you can play around with the numbers because they're getting stuck up there. I'll change that later. But actually, let's do that right now. Let's make it so that the Y is not spawning on until 15. Nope. Right a little lower. Oh, no, that's the ground. So right there, which is 17.5. So we'll do 20. Now, if I spawn it. They should not spawn anywhere on the wall. Awesome. Um, that's it for this video. If you guys liked it, let me know in the comments below. Um, it really helps to see your comments. And if you liked it, subscribe for more. Um, yeah, I'll see you guys next time.